there we go that's the recording started for the first uh, stream or continued stream with the <laughs> simply put we just for anyone watching this on youtube we just finished with hard space shipbreaker and we will be uh, starting on the next game since we have like <laughs> two three hours left which is going to be the last crusades with indiana jones so let me finish changing up the stream information before i forget to so yeah, I hope we get to do three hours see. of Indian Jones, if we are lucky. Graphic adventure, done. Okay, first off, let's move on over to here and start up the game. Um, if... Come on. All yeah, right, it's showing stuff there because different proportions. <laughs> okay, there, yeah, come on. Get that other way. There we go. <laughs> yeah, of course, by Lucasfilm and Lucas Fun Circus. <laughs> Oh, wait, I, I'm just thinking out of the fifth bloody age. Designed and scripted by Ron Gilbert, David Fox, and Noah Falstein. On animation by Steve Purcelli, James, uh, Jim McGlutz, yeah, Jim uh, Jim Martin Cameron, Mike. Uh, it's too quick for me to. Okay, Scum Story System by Ron Gilbert and Eric Wilmold. No, I'm there. <laughs> Yeah, Ron Gilbert, of course, of Monkey Island fame as well. Barnett College, 1980, yeah, 30, 1938, New York. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Marcus. Indy, you're back. There's no voice acting in this game, sadly. Yes, and I have the cross of Corando. Uh, Wonderful. I know how long you've been looking for that. All my life. So you have plenty of voice acting from us. Indy, why are you all wet? Don't ask. I really have to get out of these wet clothes. Okay, and here is where we actually start with this. Hi, I'm Indiana Jones. Welcome to my game. You can press F5 at any time to save your game progress. Also, I wish info people read it. The next Indiana Jones game to be played will have voice acting. Yep. Yeah, which is the sequel to this one, Fate of Atlantis, which has been called the greatest adventure game ever by people. I've never played it before. I've never played this one before, but I'm pretty sure that most people will have seen the movie at at least one point. <clears throat> they haven't made a movie of Fate of Atlantis. No, I meant this one, Last Crusade. Oh. Uh Okay, now, just for, to be absolutely sure that I don't get myself stuck at any point, I am opening up a guide on the side here, but I'll only look at that when I get stuck. I haven't gotten far in this game, mostly to avoid, well, spoilers and such. But yeah, as this is an, one of these old point and clicks, we have all of these uh, nouns here that we can use to, well, do stuff. The default one is walk to. Uh, let's see, look. Okay, not everything will actually be interactable. Okay. I do know here that we can do a bit of training with the combat system. Let's see, none of my good stuff, but I get it all wrinkled and sweaty. Okay, so if we walk to the them. locker room... We get switched and he gets the freaking hat. <laughs> of course. Okay. Hi, Dr. Jones. How would you like you, uh, would you like uh, me to spar with you? Uh, let's see. Go easy on me. I'm a bit out of shape. Let's have a good workout. Let me have it with everything you've got. I think I'll pass for now. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, for this, we have, I believe, the num buttons on the numpads for combats. Uh, yeah, since this, this is from the age of... Uh, well, <laughs> manuals being required options and such. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, not, not much for the you know, yeah, for the options, of course. There's no speech volume to be changed because there is no speech. Uh, let's see about uh, da, 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 Scum VM 2.0 available engines. Yeah. Let's see. Help. Okay. Uh, da, 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 save, load dialog, skip cutscene, pause game, load save, quit, toggle full screen, um, music up and up. Hmm? Oh, wait, there's a next. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Debugger, fast modes, mouse capture. Let's see. Shortcuts for all of these. Inventory. Okay. Fighting controls, numpad. Okay. So. All of these are stepping back. Eight is block high, block middle, block low. Okay. So, okay, that's pretty simple, actually. It's sort of like uh, the dancing game in uh, Sid Meier's Pirates. Oh, wait. The numpad on the four... Try to your... Uh, the numpad's next to the arrow keys. Yep. All right. I was looking at the numbers and looking at the ones closer to F1 or all those, I felt like, that looks a bit awkward. Okay. But yeah, the one on the Ten other side waiting. makes more sense. <laughs> Want to go again? Okay, let's skip that. Hopefully the difficulty for fighting won't be too bad. <clears throat> I think they fixed that in the next game, but I have seen Atlantis 1. However, I still try to remember when I saw it, if I saw it just before or about when I met Helion or way before meeting him. But I do think it was around that time where I about, was about to meet Helion. Let's see. Students, students, please be patient. I'm sure Dr. Jones will be back soon. But we're waiting for him to sign our cards all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, better retreat, Jones. <laughs> Irene, what's happening here? <laughs> oh, Dr. Jones, I'm so glad you're back. These students are very upset. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, what is that? Talk. Uh, don't talk to me, Dr. Jones. <laughs> it's the students that are upset. Okay. Hello, pizza! Yep. Doing fine. Yep, yeah, doing well. And you yourself? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Perhaps you should all <laughs> you should find another faculty advisor. Uh, just a moment, folks. I'm sure we can work something out. <laughs> what are you going to do? I was here first. Uh, <laughs> please relax. I have a solution that is fair for everyone. And as long as there's a fair way. Let's see. Irene, take down names and I will see everyone in order. I think this is all just extra. I was first. No, it was me. I was by stuff. Okay, he just takes off. That won't hold him for long. I better get you know, I, back in there. I already spotted Easter eggs. <laughs> Sam and Max. <laughs> yeah. I spotted those right away. Yeah, they are freaking obvious. So, let's see. No, not the door. Uh, let's see. Here's the thing, people. This is a Lucas Art game. I'm surprised they made the Sam and Max. I did not know Lucas Art made those. However, I am expecting to see Star Wars reference here. Yeah. Okay. This is you. This is useful. <clears throat> the shortcuts are in the actual location of the <clears throat> of the the terms. Like Q is push, A is pull, Z is give. So that. You just need to look here and, well, find the, the, the corresponding button on your keyboard. Let's see. Look, skulls. There's just some old skulls. Okay. Junk mail. <laughs> it's just junk mail. Okay. Do we open it? It's nothing important. Okay. We did open. We did lessen the pile, so nothing important. Papers doesn't seem to open. Well, okay, okay. We now have junk mail and letters in our inventory. 
uh, use papers. Uh, look, just papers, nothing important. What was that sound? Hmm? Was it from the game or you? I heard something sound like a mouse or something? Mm, I didn't hear anything like that. Let's see, I've recovered this from a strange Brazilian tribe that worships dogs and rabbits. <laughs> okay, statues. These were given to me by a student in Sculpture 101. Okay. Uh, some sort of mask here. Medal. I won this medal in a boxing tournament. Okay. Globe. It's the Earth. <laughs> That's pretty clear. <laughs> Let's see. Pizza. I'm all right. Just came back from the hospital after an emergency visit. Think it was more than a bird. You know, more of a bird than a rat for right here. Yeah, okay. I was guessing. I was guessing bird, but then I got on the shore. So it is means two was he heard it, but not the captain. Okay. I see some difficult times ahead. Okay. I kinda wonder why I'm used now there's more and more call you the captain instead of Hill. <laughs> so I guess it could be confusing depending on scenario. And see, I better not those kids are still out there. <laughs> okay. This is all just extra stuff. Like I play tested this game for a little bit, of course, and yeah, with the other, with what, with the play test, I basically just went straight out to university, and that just got into the rest of the game. This is all just extra. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, not to use statue. Uh, do we actually just need to? Uh, uh, not walk to junk mill. Mm. Uh, let's see. Turn off. Met. Turn off metal. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, Why will you turn off a metal? <laughs> okay, just uh, Doctor Jones. You come with us, please. Okay, that, that was all just an extra route that we could take for, for Andy to just skip out on doing his actual job. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Jones. I hope it didn't alarm you. I'm not used to such unorthodox methods of introduction. I'm sorry if my men inconvenienced you. My name is Walter Donovan. I know who you are, Mr. Donovan. Your contributions to the museum have been extremely generous. I might turn down the speed a bit, and I must say, some of your pieces here are quite impressive. Like yourself, I have a passion for antiquities. Have a look over here. You may find this interesting. Early Christian symbols, middle 12th century, I'd say. Where did you find it? In the mountains north of Ankara. Can you translate it? The top portion is missing, but the rest... A sprell welling up inside him for internal life. So the desert to the canyon of the crescent moon, where the cup that holds the blood of Jesus Christ our Lord resides forever. The Holy Grail, Dr. Jones. It will bring eternal life to whoever uh, drinks from it. An old man's dream. Every man's dream, including your father. He's the foremost Grail scholar in the world today. In any case, an attempt to recover the Grail is underway. But the slab's incomplete. You don't know where to look. This slab is one of two markers left by the three uh, not by three knights during the First Crusade. This Francis uh, Franciscan manuscript tells of the second marker buried with one of the kings, and suggests that the description of the Grail can be found on the way to the knight's tomb. It also says a painting was made of the Grail that answers a question my father had. Does the Grail actually glow? But it doesn't say where the knight's tomb might be found. Our team leader believes it is in Venice, Italy. That is where he disappeared. We'd like me to take over his quest. Got the wrong Jones. You should be talking you, know, you should talk to my father. We already have. He's the man who disappeared. Dun, dun, dun. 
Uh oh. Uh, also, fun fact, people. Uh, since we're talking about the Holy Grail here, it says it's usually associated with uh, King Arthur legends. Yeah. So, we tell the people something that not many to know. There are two versions of King Arthur. Of the, of the older sources, not talking about the modern media here. Like, we have the Christianized version, then we have the original version that was pre Christian. Okay, we can wander back in here. But I think it'd probably be best for us to, well, not stick around until our students find out we're back. <laughs> we get stuck grading stuff. Probably a good idea. But yeah, there is a holy cup in the, the old British version before Christianization. So I'm going to guess when they Christianized, Christianized the King Arthur legend, they just added the holy grail on top of... Uh, the original cup, which I forgot the name of. Let's see. What a mess. I wonder what they were looking for. Okay, that, was that faster? Okay. Uh, if I lower this, if I up this, does that mean that he will talk slower or quicker? Let's see. It's an upside down chair. Okay, so the, the higher the number is, the slower he talks, it looks like. Let's Check that again. 64. Yeah, the, okay. So higher is better in this case. Okay. This would make it easier to read. And yeah, this place has been uh, quite wrecked. Yeah, ransacked. Yeah. Uh, actually, be right back. Need to throw my food into the machine, not machine into the food. <laughs> There's no paper in it. It's a refrigerator. Hmm. I'd rather not. <laughs> There's probably nothing in there but an old egg. Okay. I I do hope that uh, this game isn't one of those where you can get stuck if you don't see you know, find anything. If you if you don't find a specific thing. A painting. It's a painting I did when I was a little boy. It's of a trophy my father won. Okay. It's our old house in four corners. Let's see. Bed. Ooh. Nothing under the bed. Okay, no ghosts or ghouls. Ghost food dad's on their wear. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Okay, can we pick these up? They're just a lot of old books. I've read them many times. Okay. Can we open the desk? Everything that uh, was in it is on the floor. Okay. Yeah, nothing we can do here, I believe, then. If we do, we'll, <laughs> we'll find out sooner or later. Okay. And now for the, well, iconic... <laughs> Ah, oh, Venice. How are we supposed to recognize our contact, Dr. Snyder? Welcome back. Maybe he'll, re he'll recognize us. Dr. Jones? Yes? I knew it was you. You have your father's eyes. And my mother's ears, but the rest belongs to you. Come on, Jones. Looks like the best part I've already been spoken for. <laughs> Marcus Brody? That's right. I'm Dr. Elsa Snyder. Ooh. So, uh, could you tell me about my father's disappearance? Of course. We were working in the library when it happened. I'll show you. Why don't you two go ahead without me? I think I'll take a, a nice relaxing gondola ride. Very well, Marcus. The Snyder, you lead the way. <laughs> I 
Nice pixel art as always with Lucasfilm or Lucas Arts, basically. This is the library. It looks more like a church. You wouldn't be, you know, you, yeah, you couldn't be more right. It was a church during the Crusades. Now, just before your father vanished, he was muttering something about Roman numerals. He said he'd searched everywhere for them without success. The library should be closing soon. I'll make sure we won't be bothered, then we can take a look around. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Someone's a bit... <laughs> hey, you. I doubt it'll be much trouble, Dr. Snyder. <laughs> okay. What, what did it make him stamp those books so loud? Probably because there isn't too much other sound going around. Okay. Let's have a look at these. Let's see. It's an Italian proverb. A library without bookshelves is like a haphazard pile of books. <laughs> well, it's not wrong. Yeah. Oh, I just remember something else from the original <laughs> King Arthur uh, legend. Do is it going to surprise you a bit? Who? Oh. You remember Morgana Le Fay? Yeah. In the original legend, she's not related to King Arthur at all. Okay. She doesn't even sleep with him. She's not even human. Yeah. Think about it. L Morgana Le Fay. Yeah, Fay, elf, such and such. Yeah, she's supposed to be an elf in the Avalon that's supposed to heal and help King Arthur. Okay, and of course that got twisted around to being, uh, yeah, evil uh, magic stuff. Yeah. Again, more people more use the mod, the one they base the modern King Arthur stuff on, but the much older one are very different. And when you compare them, you will start to notice, hold on. Yeah. Okay, let's... Donated by Giorgio Lucasi. George Lucas. Really? <laughs> it's an Italian. There are, there are sentimental books, but nevertheless, they move me. G. Galele. Okay. G. Galele. That rings a bell, but I don't know why. Hmm. Let's see. We probably need to find something specific amongst all of these. Let's see, aren't very interesting. Next room. Oh, yep. Well, very obvious new Roman numerals. That search for Roman numerals everywhere. Except the freaking floor, it seems. And we have stained glass window. It looks very familiar to me. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure this is... A, <laughs> that's supposed to be the grail. Let's see, inscriptions... It's inscribed to these symbols. One, four, seven. Okay. Uh, fused loose. I might be able to pry it open. Okay. I need a tool to provide some leverage. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This anything? Two, three, nine. Okay. I'm guessing these. There's going to be buttons on the knees or something. Great selection of animal books here, particularly concerning amphibians and avians. Uh, Aristophanes? Phanes? Uh, if that's a joke, I don't get it. This plaque intentionally, <laughs> intentionally left blank. It is idyllic here, but everyone tells me to hush. Eek. It's <laughs> Caruso. Okay. If the, these must be literally jokes here. Charming Town was particularly taken with a tradesman I met. W. Shakespeare. <laughs> okay, that one's, e that one's obvious even to me. I have a love for these books that transcend passion and sexuality. There's just no good word to describe it. Plato. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure all of these <laughs> quotes are bullshit. Books like these are my cup of tea, Socrates. I'm pretty sure tea wasn't even invented back in his age. At least not in Greece. <laughs> they, 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 they had, the tea existed. But not in Greece. See, don't look now, but the librarians are plotting against you, Machiavelli. I think tea was... In the... Go ahead. I would say, I think agree. Tea was more in India and China and Japan. Yeah. Let's see. I love the military books here, but they had the gall to divide them into three parts. <laughs> Julius Caesar. Okay. Wonderful place to stop for a visit while traveling. Could use more books on pachyderm care. Hannibal. Okay, is this actually the same? Are, are these just giving random things? Don't see anything special about it. Great cooking section, El Borgia. Okay, so they, these don't change randomly. Another I proverb, he who lives by the book. Where you it. <laughs> he who lives by the book dies in bed. I don't think it's that. Like, a top and bottom give the same reaction. Empires come and go, but a good library is forever. Pretolius head librarian, <laughs> library of Alexandria, with one which famously burned down. Okay. Oh. Oh. Let's see. <clears throat> we need some sort of tool from somewhere. Oh, I should probably also say these people. Many things in the Unions movies are making the stories off, they had taken a lot of liberties on. Yeah. Let's see, it's just driving me out of my mind, line five. Okay. Uh, hill? Oh. What? The glass has changed. Yeah, this one has a face, but these are different rooms, uh, not oh. the same place. I thought we were in the same room. The library staff apologizes for the defaced plaques in the section. The employee responsible has been terminated. Uh, an empathetic librarian said, line one. These inscriptions just makes uh, just make me see red. They are uh, clear fabrication. And my indignation is just driving me out of my mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, here the air fryer. Be right back. Okay. <clears throat> Why does that pixel face look familiar? Let's see. Anything different on these? Someone cut numbers into the stone. Two aids one. Okay, we definitely need something to open these... <clears throat> to lift those slabs off the wall... Uh, off the ground. Hmm. Could use more books in aviation and painting. Leo da Vinci. <laughs> it's just capital how uh, this building refuses to wither away. Karl Marx. Honk H Marx. <laughs> Worse. Why a duck? G marks. <clears throat> You're supposed to be reading the books, not the plaques. <laughs> Superb library, but dull ceiling. Mike Angelo. <laughs> Michelangelo. <clears throat> How far is this going to extend outwards? I'm, I'm going to guess that it loops around eventually. <clears throat> I'd love to stay and support my local library, but I have a craving for Chinese food lately. <laughs> Marco Polo. <laughs> Fabulous layout. I love to start in one spot and work my way around the entire library. F. Magellan. M M M Magellan, who went out and <laughs> tried to go around the world. And died trying. I'm happy to contribute to this wonderful library, but the use of columns disturbs me. F Freud. <laughs> Freud. <laughs> 
Uh, the biology section is primitive now, but every day it grows more fit. Darwin. Geography section is rounded out well. Columbus. <clears throat> ah, Venice. His library is fit for a king. Marco and Giuseppe Palmieri. Can't say I recognize those. <clears throat> okay, and finally we get all the way around. Let's see. Can we leave? We can leave. We could even travel back to the United States. <laughs> okay, that would be a bit of a dick move to just walk out and head back to the States. <clears throat> Let's see, where could we find something to... <coughs> okay, something's really stuck in my throat, it seems. <clears throat> I'm back and it's all to me as hell! What the hell are you doing? What kind of sorcery is this? <laughs> the cat seem to budge. Except the cat. Why would anyone want a cat when they could have a dog? <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna confess, I was, I was unsure that was, that was a cat earlier. <laughs> it or, does look like it could be a big squirrel. Yeah, I was thinking, what kind of squirrel is that? <laughs> yeah, I saw the earlier thought, wait, maybe it's a cat? <laughs> okay, we need some sort of prying tool to open up those, or to lift up those slabs. And I remember something from the movie with moving stuff in the library or something. I just realized something. You hmm. said this is a very wonderful Lucas art pixel art, correct? Yeah. Is they all very good at pixel art? However, it is a bit concerning if they make it hard to to a deficiency in a cat in a squirrel. <laughs> it's a beautiful example of uh let's see. Purcellian design and is full of water. Hmm. <clears throat> I think that's more the <laughs> the angle and such, but let's see. I have no idea of how we might find something to pry these up. Hmm. So I might need to go look for a hint already. Is there a way we can walk this way? No. Can't talk, can't travel. Let's see. And nothing to look at around here. Did we check these stacks? Is anything special? Plaque? It says, dedicated to my favorite little library from a lover of fine literature. LA. Not sure. Don't recognize that. Uh, donated in you know, honor of Count Spielberg. <laughs> Spielberg. Really? Hmm. It's archaic Italian for a great library, even if it is second in a in a second rate city. Romulus and Remus. <laughs> of course, these <clears throat> the supposed founders of Rome. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay, so shall I look up a tip for how to pry these open? Yeah, do that. Okay, let's see. If I think I know uh, why I didn't hmm. watch this game playthrough uh, back in the day. For I think the YouTuber, I was to watch it, uh, it made me realize, okay, this is the older version, no voice acting, and... Uh, I don't think you to be even bothered reading it out loud, at least. But I had a very bad mic. <clears throat> Let's see. Ta -ta -ta. Uh, United States. Okay. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Henry's house. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. There is still there's stuff that we could still do in America there. So... <clears throat> You're telling really me we forgot, this. Um, we forgot a tool in the States, didn't we? 
Not really a tool, but more something else. It, it, okay, at least it's instantaneous now. Uh, let's see. Remove the plant from the table. Okay. I'll just put it down over here. Okay. Pick up the tablecloth. Nope. Okay, it's not a table, it's a chest. Okay. Open it up. It's locked. Okay, so we need to find the key somewhere around here. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Pull the bookcase. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this is... <laughs> oh, could have crushed him. Uh... Uh, really? Okay, there's a bit of sticky tape here, apparently, that we need. Yeah. I think it's easy to see for people how... Uh, well, how easy it is to get stuck in these games. <clears throat> yeah, especially when you need to look for tiny pixels. Pick up the painting. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, now it wants to go back to the university for some reason. Uh, okay. Yeah, just have to uh, no, we, we missed some messengers here. Uh, let's see. Pizza. Yes, I heard it too. It sounded more like it came from Hillian's mic, but it could also be the game, but the chirp sounded way more real. Hmm. Yeah, and wait. Oh, yeah, we missed something with way for the back even. Let's see, off the day. Hi, I am all right. Just came back from hospital of an emergency visit. I think I read that earlier. Let's see. Oh, I, I think missed it was that more then. of a bird than a rat for here. Okay, odd. Yeah, the, um, I, the visit went well. Okay, apparently we did need to continue picking these up. And hello. See, a package from my father. Okay, open it up. Hmm, this looks important, but I'll leave the, this other junk here. <laughs> Good idea. It's my father's grill diary. Okay. Uh, let's see, can we open that up? So you don't see anything pertinent right now. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we had to, we had to get in here to actually get that. Okay, is there anything else here? Uh well, there is extremely important you won't get far in the game without it. Okay, and then it's just get out. Okay. At Henry's house, get that back into the university. Use the sticky tape on the jar in the shelf next to the window. Yeah. So, this jar is full of solvent. I use it to clean stuff. Okay, use sticky tape in jar. Seems to be working. Hey, there's a key in here. Uh, okay. I'm guessing that's how we were... Okay, the... I'm guessing the... I'm guessing the key was in the tape? Yeah, like, I think that's a, a trick that people have at times... Uh, ...taped a key and hid behind the shelf. But how much tape did he use to need to use a dissolvent? Let's see, this is a diary I made when I was a little boy. It was supposed to look like my father's grail diary. Okay. Pick that up. Hmm. And it's, uh, hit the window. Or, I guess that means just get out through the window. Uh, a little book. Okay, and that's all that is to be done here. Okay. Does that mean... Can we still go back? Okay, so we could still go back, but that is all that we needed to slash could do there. 
Okay, <laughs> good thing that good thing that we got that because I would I would have completely missed all of that. And people could of course be you know, going like that's what happened in the movie and stuff, but it'd been freaking forever since I saw the movie, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Dead air, Captain. Dead air. Uh, let's see. Very short chapter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, apparently we need to mess with these two or something. It's, I, I don't want to just play by the FAQ, but uh, let's be honest, I would just be <laughs> I would just be running in circles for hours if I didn't have at least hints. You know, if they ever remake this game, they definitely should add in a hint system or something. Yeah, <clears throat> and also it is a lovely pixel art, but I do feel like they could need uh, what they did with the Monkey Island ones. Yeah. Let's see. Look at the wine bottle, of all things. 1942, a very bad year. I knew that. Then why are you still drinking it? Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Okay. We need to get this, but if we if we hadn't said that before, but mind if I take this, they wouldn't have let us take it. Of course not. It was a dreadful wine. <laughs> okay, I very much doubt that that is how we're going to get those uh, panels off the ground. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay, it actually says to go back into the library, so maybe it is. Or do we need to bribe the librarian with bad wine? <laughs> oh dear. Also, okay. someone very hungry over there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do we really just use this? Uh, likely not. Okay. Yeah, we really cannot interact with him. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. Three books here you can read. A book of maps, a manual, uh, and a manual are both optional. Make sure you find the book. Okay. Uh, first bookcase is in from the west. The entrance where you find the manual. That one is in the second front row. A bookcase and the book of maps. Look for it yourself. Okay. Uh, second front row is it being like here or something. Okay, because apparently, yeah. Okay, I remember this part. Uh, let's see. how two books. Yeah, I remember a scene from the movie now where uh, Indy needs to pretend to be uh, a German, and he can use a specific book for that. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Manual both options. Ta -ta -ta. <clears throat> First bookcase in from the west. From the entrance is where you find the manual. Second front uh, bookcase. Second front. What is that supposed to mean with this? Um. <clears throat> What was it the 1924 again? That's the wine. It's 1938 now. Yeah, but what happened during that year? 24, I don't know. It's just the year of the wine. And a very bad one, apparently. Yeah, but this is a bad year. Yeah, bad wine year. So, okay, bad that's, harvest, that bad wine. Let's see, are, am I going too quick with these, or are, is he just saying the same about all of these, that they're not very interesting? Let's see. Hmm. 
Second front bookcase. What the heck is supposed to be meant with second front? I'm, I'm looking for different guides because this is very not clear to me. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Wait, Writing second. tips. Let's see. In this office, Henry's house, Venice. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. The other room? Snyder, after agreeing, you can. Each screen of books has two rows. You can access them from adjacent window screens. Look at the plaques at the end row for tons and tons of references and jokes. Uh, books aren't especially interesting, but there are three you here you can pick up. Each of them makes the game easier. One shows maps of the section beneath the library. What is how to fly a biplane? Uh, uh, ta -ta -ta. Last copy of ta -ta -ta. guard. Okay, to give to a guard instead of fighting them. Okay, all three of these can make things easier, so it does sound like a good thing to find them. Uh, let's see. Each row of books is divided in four columns. On a row with a collectible book, one of the columns will be different from the rest. Okay. Uh, ta -da -ta. First <clears throat> from the first three. Uh, titled Maps of... Oh, wait. This is supposed to be... Okay, so basically... All of these just get the same reaction. Okay, so we just need to find where there's, well, where he says something different. And there was something around here that was how to, yeah, how to books. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's see, one with a green cover. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Maps off. You then have to scan each book oh, with the what is. Okay. Uh, come on. Oh, wait. Is that a, oh, okay, that identifies what you are actually looking at. It's not a clickable. Okay. So we just need to scan over until we find something that we need or could use and see wait there's one specific here that stands out as book instead of books Let's see how to fly a biplane okay so that's how we find these okay so then we just need to go through everything else just to see uh, what we can find. Not very interesting. Yeah. Actually, let me let me go back a bit just to check if it is uh, if it does overwrite each other or if it's just not going fast enough. Look at books. Okay, look at these. Okay, it does overwrite. That is good to know. Okay, look at books. Not very interesting. And not very interesting. Okay, that is going to help it a lot with finding these. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing they sort of expected people to, uh, well, have re somewhat recently watched a movie while playing these. <laughs> My father made me read these when I was a boy. Okay. Any specific one... Here then. Wait, I think I saw something. And it swaps from books to next room because I get too close to the outside. Okay, not no specific ones there. Yeah, wait, wait. Oh, uh, okay. Must be encyclopedias or something. Okay. And I guess the feeling these are just going to be the same. Oh, 
the, the complete works of famous dictators. Okay, I think with that you can figure out, uh, well, what book it is we need to bribe a German. Oh, no. There. The, I was gonna guess uh, that one looks uh, way suspicious. Oh, no. Yeah. I think that's a very infamous book. Yeah. There are plenty of people who say that it should be burnt, but uh, there are also plenty of people who say it should be preserved just to make it clear just how absolutely batshit insane the writer was. Yeah, the writer was. Yeah, I, I will agree there, since mm -hmm. it's a bad book, but burning all the copies of it would be like burning the evidence. Yeah. And it's not just a bad book in morals, it's also just poorly written from everything I've heard of it. Oh dear. Secrets of the Roman Catacombs. Okay. And uh, actually, that's all three books that we need, I think. Yeah, that book, Book of Maps, and the Manual. Okay. Hmm. Three to find. Okay. <clears throat> the game, however, things are never that easy. I guess you need to find the catacombs under the library. In the film, it was simply a matter of finding a big X on the floor and smashing it. In the game, however, things are never that easy. Uh, through the five window screens, uh, each with nine Roman numerals, you have to find the one, uh, you, the one right uh, slab to smash. Okay. Uh, how to get under the library? <laughs> Is the metal post? Metal post? Okay. <laughs> Wait. What? Model going wonky? When you were reading your eye went to the middle. <laughs> okay. Yeah, me no smarts. <laughs> I go bad if read. Okay. Yeah, you can not look like that. Let's see. I'll take this red cordon off first. Okay, I remember now. They used to smash the uh, this with. The, uh, they use this to smash the uh, plates. Okay, but how do we figure out which one to actually smash? Or do we just smash them all? Let's see. Seven five uh, seven six four seven six four. Six four seven six four six two four. Okay, what is that supposed to mean? Wait, wait. We have nine letters on the floor, correct? Yeah. We have six that get read out, but they don't. They can overlap because we have six and four in this one. So. What? Okay. An example. Minefield. Okay, I'm... Okay. Was that the actual correct one there? What was that noise? You there, don't move. Uh, did I actually indeed just find the... Uh... Well, that's nothing. Oops. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that was the right slap. Okay, so... <laughs> That's, that is how we could screw ourselves, then. And what the heck is that? <laughs> You're coming with me. And now we're locked out. We're... Can we just open them up again? Okay, we can't just go back in <laughs> and get at it again. Who? What? I'm guessing that was a uh, Italian police <laughs> or something. With a rifle? Apparently, yeah. Okay, can we go collect the post again? <laughs> okay, so no brute forcing this. Uh, we still have the red cordon. Where's the post? Did I... <laughs> did I lock the game? Okay, they put that back. Okay, then. And they repair the floor, so you can't just go one by one. 
Uh, let's see. Anything on the tips here? Oh, wait. Use the Grail Diary. It doesn't seem to work. Okay. Maybe with the window? No. Use Grail Diary. Nope. Can't use it on the window. Can't use it on the slabs. Okay. Uh, the pillars? Let's see. Use Grail Diary to see what your dad has written about it. Okay. Uh, let's, next is to make sure you're on the right screen. Let's see. No. Just use Grail Diary and walk to use. Okay. Hmm. The th okay, so either the game is wrong or the, the guide is wrong. Hmm. hmm. Click on Use Grail Diary to see what your dad has written. You'll be, you'll be shown a picture of a stained glass window and a quotation. In order to quote and look at the window. But Wait. We can't use the diary. Open. That doesn't work oh, either. Really? And look. Okay. <laughs> we might need to <laughs> we might need to quit this game because it just simply refuses to work or something. Okay, now it works. Let's see. Note the particular care taken in drawing the shield, the areas above it, and the angels. The cryptic message below seems to have something to do with the Roman numerals and stone pillars. If you would enter, follow the seconds to the right. Okay, we need to find this stained glass window with shield and angels and grails. And that... Uh, wait... No, it's not this one. The one in here has a shield, has a sword sticking out of the shield. Not an uh, Among Us crew member. <laughs> Even in the 90s, they were Among Us. <laughs> not this one either. Among Us. Again. <laughs> Okay, not this one with Tupac or whoever on top. <clears throat> uh, not here either. Okay. Yeah, this must be the one. Okay. Uh, oh, I think I get the joke. I think I get it now. Let's see. Open. Follow the second on the right. Right. The second. So we look at the right inscription. Two. Okay. So just to be safe. <laughs> two unsafe. Two. Okay. Uh, use the metal posts on two. Uh, like, uh, uh, no, not use that. <laughs> use metal posts with slab two. Okay, up there. <laughs> Not again. You there, don't move. <laughs> okay, now we're in the catacombs. Oh. Okay, now we finally get music again. It's probably good to use this to look around for things we can actually interact with. Let's see, we have three tunnels.
Don't see anything special. Don't see anything special. Okay, so no hints of any death traps in any of these. Okay. Uh, let's see. Book of Maps. Let's see. Deep within the city lie the paths to the tomb. Okay, that's the only page that is of uh, use to us. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, we have three exits from here. They're not that. So I'm guessing we are on this part here. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm just going to take a quick photo of this with my phone so I don't need to keep bringing up this thing. <clears throat> okay. There. Okay. Now we should be able to easily traverse this place then. Okay. No. Put this away. And let's see. This way? I think slash hope. Let's see. That matches with the map. Yep. Okay. Then down here. This way. Um. Oh, hello. Uh, let's see. Torch. I don't think we are alone down here. It's held in place by hard dry mud. Can we pick it up? No. Let's see. Tunnel. Let's see. Pole? No. Okay, there must be some way to get that torch then, I'm guessing. Hmm. Uh, wine bottle? With the Why? torch? What? Wasn't enough wine to loosen the mud. Okay. Wait, you... You used up the wine? Yep. Okay, hopefully that was not needed somewhere else. Okay. Hmm. I yeah, the, not. The catacombs under Paris would be one place that you would never catch me at any point, no matter how much you would pay me. Let's see, we have a slab yeah, over here. Uh, but I would have attempted to go there, but not alone. Not alone. Don't see anything special. Can we pick it up? Can't get a grip on it. I think I said, yeah, I said this before, but I was here again. Don't ever bring a necromancer do to those uh, tombs under Paris. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think there's a room where it looks like a room over here. Maybe there's something we can use. Hello, this is looking modern. Wait, are we? We're we're underneath the restaurant from before, aren't we? Or the terrace? I think so. Yep. <laughs> okay, that makes for a good shortcut. <laughs> Okay, what was that noise? Hmm. I hope there isn't much we actually need down here. Maybe that torch? Let's see. A sewage pipe and... Oh, hello. Can't reach it. Rusty old lock. Can't reach it. Uh, are those shoes? Hmm. I'm sure those are shoes on not hmm. I'm confused as well. Okay, so there is something there. Let's see. I think we need to go here maybe. Let's see. Ooh. 
Okay. No passing through here. But we can fill the bottle with water. Okay. And that might be good for loosening the torch. Hopefully. Okay. And uh, make sure that I'm going the right directions. Yeah. Easy enough. Use bottle with torch. There we go. Okay, pick up the torch. Oh. Or pull it instead. <laughs> okay. Oops, the water uh, wine bottle broke. Okay, yeah, you want to get rid of that. Okay, that must mean that we're in the... Okay, we're in the lower level of the catacombs. Uh-oh. On the lower half of the page. Uh, but where on it are we? Hmm. Actually, I think I know where we are about. It's a triangle. Stay on, phone. And this should be two rooms. Oh, hello. And where is this leading us? Over here. Okay. So, can we open that now? No. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that is a one-way door. You would think you would try to keep it open with something, but oh well. Maybe we can hmm. later. For now, down we go again. And again, just a wily Coyote moment. Okay, now that I know where we are on the map... Or... Oh wait, this, act, this is a sealed off area of the map. Okay. So the only way to get in here is through that. So there must be something here. Okay, slippery stone. Let's see. Wooden stone. Oh. We are underneath the water. We are underneath the flooded area. Let's see. Oh, inscription. Inscriptions. Let's see. These look like inscriptions. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Yes, it describes the Grail. My father's diary is right. Either the Irish poem found in an abbey in Brittany or the newspaper clipping from the Celtic scholar. Uh, is the correct account of the Grail. I'd put more value in the first one then. Okay. Uh, can we use this to... Too high to reach. Hmm. Maybe you can whip it? Nope. Okay, so we need some sort of... Yeah, something to extend our reach. Or something to stand on. A lot in you at the captain wanna solve everything with a whip. Okay, well, at least that, that is known now. Wait, that sound. Oh! Is that the truth? I think I heard? know what me, me and uh, Pizza may have heard earlier. Yeah, that's chirp. Chirp uh, and all you! <laughs> Let's see. Hmm, there has to be something we can use to extend the reach, because we can't get into the other half of, uh, we can't get into the other half without uh, draining that place, and for that we need something to get up higher. Let's see. It's 
nothing here other than the tunnels and the slab. Hmm. Our way down, but we're not interested in that at the moment. Hmm. Let me see. It looks like there's a room down here. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh. Re <laughs> really? Uh, no, not that. Tunnel arm. Okay. Yeah, are you really going to just use a hook? Wait. Hook and cordon? No. Okay, so no... Uh, no improvised... Uh, <clears throat> no improvised grappling hook. Let's see. It's a dead end. Okay. Hmm. I'm, let's see if that hook is enough to pull the plug. And then we can move on. Okay. First, we need to pull this. There we go again. <laughs> okay, uh, this way. We'll be in for a bit of a shower if we open that thing up, though. So it'd probably be best to do it from a distance. There. Okay. Hook. Use. Plug. That is, that is actually enough. Okay. Or at least enough to stick it in there. Then we use this on that. Is that don't really dangerous? Uh, what if we just straight up pull it? Would it be dangerous? Rip. Oh, oh. Really? Use whip hook. There we go. Yeah, if, if we'd been underneath that... Uh, <laughs> it, it cuts straight through the fucking stone. Is that going to keep going? Nope, it's done. <laughs> okay. Oh, that means we can now get out of here. Alright, now that, that was a good bit of adventure gaming. Just... Give us a, a problem, and let us find the solution for it. Okay. <clears throat> so now we can pass through here. Anything of interest? Just, just a hole. Nope, oh, careful. Stones are still wet. <laughs> wow, looks deep. Okay. Let's see, now we're in the last parts of this. Uh, hello. Okay, this what? looks out of place. And old. It's an old ass machine in the sewer in the catacombs, Indy. Let's see, that is apparently not of interest. Uh, look at wheel. Don't see anything. You are just not impressed by anything, Dr. Jones. Okay. Uh, what um, would that have done? Hmm. Hopefully that didn't prepare some trap or something. Hmm. Oh, hello. It's really? 
Okay, anything in the diary that we can use here? There we go. This configuration is labeled correct. This one is labeled certain death. How curious. Okay, so angel, banner, dragon. I'm guessing we need to push these. Oh, okay, they swap each other. They swap the ones that are adjacent as well. Or no, it's okay. So this one only changes itself. But these two will change each other. It's... Oh. Uh, is that correct? No, that's the wrong dragon. So I need to push this again. Uh, wait. Open diary. Okay, dragon needs to be facing right. This looks more like a devil anyways. There we go. Yep. Okay, that was mostly an accident. Oof. Let's see then. Wait, did this put us in the lower end? Looks like it, yeah. Okay. Hmm, or not. According to the map, there should have been a room here, or something that looked like it could have been a room. Let's see. Okay, this, this matches with the map. Okay, odds that there's no room there, even though it looks like there should be one. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. That's like a reach or. Oh, yeah, I very much up. that. I think we need. Yeah, we're going to need to. That's connected to the machine upstairs. I'm pretty sure. Wrong way. Okay then. Hmm. A part of me wants to try out the certain death one, but we'll have to see. Okay. Listen there. Okay. Back to the machine room. Okay. Uh, let's pull that again. There is something not connected here, perhaps. Yeah, this is the chain isn't moving. Okay, so I'm guessing we need Wait, to look on the ground. Yeah, I think we need to use this with the machine. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that connects it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and now when it's pulled, it'll actually pull the chain. Which likely lowers the drawbridge. Yes, it's more lowering chain. Okay. Again, good bit of adventure gaming. I was being a bit uh, dubious with how it was up until here. Okay. Uh, then again, this is a this is a game from thirty years ago. Like uh, this is probably one of the oldest games we are streaming or we've streamed. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> so just the mentality that was expected of players was also quite different. Yeah. Wait, wait. Where was World War One again? Uh, nineteen forty-one to forty-five, I believe. Or 39 to 40, 45, I believe. Oh, so World War I. Uh, one. Uh, nine, uh, 1918 is a big uh, year with that, I believe. So we don't oh. know if that's the end or the... Hmm. Oh, that basically means First World War is over 100 years old ago. Oh, Let me double check. Over 100 years ago, I mean. World War One. 
1914 to 1918. Okay. So yeah, the start of the uh, World War uh, of the First World War was a century ago. <clears throat> not the heck that makes me feel old. But it's not. It's not like you were there. No. Or were no. you? It's nothing here. I have lived long enough uh, to see it become century old and all that. Okay. Hello? Indy seems to be very uh, unfazed by all of this, huh? Are you going to say there's nothing in... Yep, nothing special. <laughs> Just how many, how many I, secret catacombs and shit have you found in your days, Jones? Actually, a stupid question. <laughs> yeah. Let's oh see. dear. Latched from above. Okay. Does that wait? Does that mean that we have to find the space above this? Hmm. Actually, let, let's open the diary a bit more. Oh. Uh, Perhon, uh, Perhosonus. Uh, I'm not I'm going to not any further than that. From a manuscript of Abbas Hilgard of Bingen, the excerpt uses an obscure musical notation, and I am not sure why it never has more than six different notes. Wait. Really? Uh, really? And so do we just hit them or do we need to hit them with something? Yep, yeah, just push him. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, another photo, because I'll probably get this wrong. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's try the one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Okay. Two higher. Two down. Okay, not that. Um, wait, so that did, happened. Okay, that, did I was I just not paying attention to the door and then it actually opens? It just opened and it closed. Let's see there. There. Yep. Okay, so I, I was, I did get it right and completely missed the door opening. Okay. Oh. Okay. And on. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, an unknown part of the catacombs, unless there was a way for us to flip through the pages. Hmm. Okay, let's try and not get lost. And see if we can find a spot where we can open up the book again. Five streams later. Oh, I, I can see you getting frustrated to get stuck on this for five streams. Now, I doubt it would be that, that long, and that my sense of uh, direction with this is not that terrible. Yeah, I just remembered the guide should probably have helped us by then, unless it was a horrible guide. I haven't checked that since we basically got into the catacombs. That's good, sense. Well, we rather use it when we need it. Yeah. 
Let's see, to get back is down, left, up, left, down, left, up. Not the dead end. Let's see, just head over there. It, this bit is very big. Let's see, or is it just repeating? Not a dead end. No, it's not repeating. Okay, that is the way back. Oh, room? Oh, exact room where we need to be. Hello. Okay. And again, the only thing he seems to care about is the casket, not the skulls. But again, he's seen dumb, uh, dozens of those. This looks like the casket of the last night. Okay, open her up. Wow. Okay, uh, look. The shield is the second marker Donovan spoke of. Let's see. It mentions the ancient city of Alexandrat, Alexandretta. The day that the city of Iskenderun is built on its ruins. Okay. So we now have an open. Also, for this to have been built here, someone must, someone's drilled in here, or some uh, sewage, some construction company dug in here, uh, took a look, said, uh, nah, not as important, built all of this and fucked right off. Let's see. Any way Maybe. to open this up? Can't seem to move it. Okay. Could we have found some... Could we have found something to uh, boil that up? Oh. Yeah, that is an annoying sound. Okay, so... I'm guessing we could either have found something to oil that up, or we need to make our way all the way back. <laughs> Let uh... me actually check the, uh, the guide on that. Uh, let's see. Oh, right now, it, because I because I didn't use the browser, it you now removed the it removed the guides when I looked for well when World War One happened. Okay, at least it's still in the saved ones. Okay, Last Crusade. And that's the Game Boy version. Not going to be much use there. I think the Game Boy version is extremely different from this one. Very much likely. Let's see, fighting tips again. Henry's house. Okay. Uh, catacombs. Okay. Uh, ta -ta. Okay, the rest of you lazy cheaters read this bit. The first room you come across, marked one on the map, has some dead pirates in it. Remember what I said about each room being important? But in this one, you get the pirate's hook. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> Wine bottle. Okay, you could have filled the wine bottle at the fountain as well. Always nice when an adventure game gives uh, multiple options to uh, certain things. Yeah. Uh, lower That's level. But it makes sense. Okay. One of these is the correct account of the grail, but you won't know which one until you get there. Uh, you'll have to pick it, use it to pick the right grail from the pony. Okay. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay. Write down the names of the accounts. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking through here for. Okay, that's the puzzle for that. That's the skulls. Okay. Really? Okay, apparently there isn't any oil or such to find. We 
We can just pull the rusty thing off. Okay, easy enough. Okay, now where where is okay, we already know where this is. Like, how did nobody find that freaking thing? <laughs> Dr. Jones, I've been looking all over for you. Why do you think of sewage? <laughs> Indy! <laughs> Marcus. I found out where your father is. He's being held captive in the Brunwald Castle on the, Austra uh, on the Austrian German border. How the hell did you find that out? Great. And I found out where the Grail is. It's in Is uh, Iskenduran. Of course, Iskenduran. Probably saying that wrong. Uh, Marcus, why are you all wet? <laughs> Don't ask. Break joke. Okay, I'll rescue Dad. You meet me in Iskenderun. Uh, Iskenderun. Sure. No trouble. I'll be off now. <laughs> Just get on your way. Uh, where is this <laughs> Really? Uh. See, all right, I'll stay in the car. And I'll come back in a few minutes. Oh, this doesn't give evil vibes at all, does it? Not in the absolute slightest. Yes, people uh, may be very sarcastic at the moment. Nope. Hello. And who might you be? Uh, let's see. Uh, Lord Roberts McPolifa, I'm here to inspect the tapestries. Are you the one with the relatives in town? Uh, never mind that. Who's in charge here? I'll first throw a punch. <laughs> Okay, let's try and let's try and uh, talk our way around here. And let's see, my nephew Otto in Salzburg. Is something wrong? Uh, let's see. Let's see. No, he's fine. But you must go to him immediately. He was injured. He drove his car off the road nearby. I get the feeling that's going to be a trip up. Uh, let's see. It's not him. It's his father. Otto sent me to you. Okay. His father? Yeah, I thought I had seen an apparition. My father passed away last year. <laughs> okay, so it... Uh, yes, but uh, I mean... Uh, me, <laughs> okay, this... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that works as well. <laughs> okay. And also, it's... don't give the Iron Maiden a hug. Nope. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the castle. Oh. Sir, you sent for me? Yes, I want you to protect that priceless painting we just acquired. Priceless? But it's just a painting of an old cup. Silence. The Fuhrer is very interested in it. Do you dare to question the Fuhrer's judgment? Also, I hope that the imagery and such is not going to <laughs> get me slapped with something. Then leave me and return to your posts. Yes, sir, Colonel Vogel. Colonel Bird? Really? Really? And also, do you see the doghouse? Yeah, I saw the dog with red eyes, but not the doghouse, I think. He had a... Couldn't cook Greek temple style house with those flags. <laughs> really? Okay, maybe we got to see that. But hello. Let's see. And I don't think you to be flag you again, it's one of those depends on context. Yeah. Like it's in the game and such, and we are specifically here to beat the shit out of um <laughs> <laughs> out of Nazis. Let's see. There, there's. What is with this? No, not the tapestry. That. What is with that wire or whatever? Hmm. 
Let me see anything here? Nope. Anything through here? Okay, this gets us over there. We need to find the right place, but I get the feeling if we open the wrong door, we're going we're stepping into a fight. Oop. Hello. Hello, my good friends. Hello, and how are you? Terrible, I've run out of ale. Yeah, he's drunk as all hell. You've been hit to the snuffs? Uh, let's see. Tell me where you got your ale. In the kitchen. It's that way. Uh, no, wait a minute. It's, it's, it's somewhere around here. Okay. Well, if we find a kitchen, we'll give them some uh, some more to drink. That'll remove one nuisance out of our way. Oh, hello, kitchen. Oh, bloody heck. Okay, the chicken and or whatever that is looks tasty, but I really dislike the decoration. Okay, we need but, some sort of container. There's two decorations in there I would remove. Yeah. Okay, this is going to bring us into the hall again. Over here? Nope. Okay. It's just a window. Okay. Did we check here already? Uh, if we did, we didn't find anything there. Okay, so we need a mug or something. Let's check this way. I doubt we can uh, hold much beer in a candelabra. Mm. Maybe some in the Iron Maiden, but... Um... <laughs> I don't think it'd be that easy to lure them into there. Okay, oh, okay that works as well. Probably easier to lure them inside it than to carry it around. Oh, are you here on official basis in business? Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm selling fine leather jackets like the one I'm wearing. That joke again. Uh, ah, fuck it. Okay, they block. Come on. Okay. Yep. Yeah, just keep punching in the face repeatedly. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, okay, nothing on him. Yeah, the, the yellow health... Oh, again. You in the leather jacket. What are you doing here? <laughs> okay, just get at it again. Okay. Now, the yellow health is temporary health, I'm pretty sure. We use that up, or stamina. Yeah, stamina is more accurate. Uh, yeah, we use that up when we attack. If we completely drain it, we use up health instead. So, just... best to just try not to. 50 marks. <laughs> really? Did you just... Knock him out by punching his... Uh... Yep. <laughs> Uh, of course you fight like a pri pirate. Yeah, of course. What else did you expect? Oh, that's a big window. True, we are pirates. You're a pirate captain and an alchemist. Okay, this window has been opened in centuries. I can't budge it. Okay, I got the feeling we have to start sneaking around the back. <coughs> Not the back, the outside of the castle, maybe. Let's see, what have we here? Look. Hey, there were 50 marks in there. Okay, yoink. Okay, I think I just saw someone there. You there, this is a top, sec a top security area. 
Okay. Uh, nope. This guy's a lot tougher. And Lewis, okay. Get the hell. Almost got him. Let's see. After recovering unconsciousness, our hero Indiana Jones was forced to polish his endless artifact for the rest of his life. Uh, uh, that was a very long time. <laughs> okay, I, I hope we don't put an auto save. Episode series? Uh, I, I think it's the point amount that it's we got from that. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got an auto save here, luckily. Okay, so yeah, fighting is not going to be too easy. Yeah, Let's like, see. It is an option, but it's probably good to try to trick them when you can. Let's see. Can we just avoid them by going in and out of doors? I think that might be the case. Okay. Yep. Damn it. Okay, this one we this one is a lot uh, pudgier, so we can take him easily. Okay, there's no real way to tell where they're going to uh, attack, so I think just full on offense is probably the best. There we go. Yeah, like. I like that they have the option to parry, but... Yeah, it's not parry, it's block. Yeah, block, but it's a bit hard to block when you can't... Uh, and really anticipate. To... Yeah. It's basically a, a good idea, but it was way too early. Hmm. Let's see. Get in there. Oh, hello, what's this here? Oop. You're not allowed up here. Oop. Okay, just right into it. Okay, now the controls are reversed because we're on the other side. Okay, just barely. Hopefully we get our health restored. 20 marks. Okay. Oh, oh here again. Okay. okay. Yeah, 50 marks. Not sure if that will be useful for anything, but better we have it than they. Okay, we might need to memorize a bit of where they all are to maybe help with dodging them let's see door is locked oh ah, damn it and we do not regain health okay so we best to avoid combat where we can huh okay yeah. hmm Ooh. Okay. I'm going to assume that there will be ways to regain health. I, I hope so. There will probably be more between chapters. So can we sneak in behind this guy? He's pretty quick on his feet, so hello. Uh, a cephalon. Not, not much to interact with. Don't pick up the suit. Look at the suit. It's in great shape. Late 10th century, I'd say. Let's see. Fireplace. A certain jackass's portrait. I think the armor age might be correct. It's a bit hard with that pixelation, but... I'm not sure about the weapon. 
Let's see, can't move the fireplace. I remember something about the fireplace in the movie. Uh, it's a statue. I think, I think, I think about the wrong movie. Let's see, nothing interesting here. He, he, you think you think about the Temple of Doom? Let's see, poor statue. Where they, oh. uh... no, that I think Not I remember that. <laughs> okay, that's Never a one-way ticket. Oop, hello. I don't see anything special about it. Well, okay, what if Elsa went? Okay, that can't be good. Maybe she was captured. Oh dear. I. Uh. At least this was more toned down version compared to Temple of Doom. Yeah, and. Okay, I think I'm going to need to put on BRB quickly. So right. be back in a few minutes, hopefully. All uh, right. Okay, the button is broke. Okay. Uh, we, okay, let me just quickly fix this. Apparently that... Yeah, BRB scene.
Okay, I'm back. I'm <clears throat> back. Okay. That also gave me a bit of time to look through the guide, and apparently this is the lengthiest part of the game. I am somehow not surprised. And, oh, the butler is gone. Okay. Uh, apparently, yeah, apparently this, this part is more complex than I thought it would be originally. Because we can just try and stealth and talk our way through, according to this. Uh, so that's, uh, uh, yeah, if you, that kind of mm -hmm. makes sense for Indiana. Indy usually will try to talk his way out before he uses his fists. True. Usually. Okay. Uh, one annoying bit is that it apparently yeah, the whoever made this guide also included maps, but since uh, game FAQs does can doesn't support maps, uh, he had to link them as images to, uh, to be sent through uh, as separate site uh, external images. Let's see. Welcome back. Love the remix music on the BRB. It's not... Uh, that's another track from the uh, music pack that I bought a while back, from which I also get the... Uh, <clears throat> from which I also get the outro music. Okay. Uh, let's see. How are you? Terrible. I've run out of ale. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, he may not seem much, but he's very helpful and he gives a few clues if you know how to probe him correctly. Okay. Uh, da, 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 131. Perhaps it's best you stop drinking anyway. Uh, you just like the other fruits here. Except for helmets over by the stairs. No. Oh. Uh, yeah, and that's all we get from him. Okay, uh, you'll get a piece of info that will allow Indy to get past a tough guard later without having to fight. Any other information this drunken soldier gives you is only for your own benefit, like a hint, like a textbook uh, upstairs, a clue you see. The only other thing this guy gives you is the virtually important Stein. To get it, you either do the gentlemanly thing for two points. Uh, okay. Or just punch his lights out for an easy one point. Yeah, that, <clears throat> that was with the point with the numbers earlier. That's the amount of points that we'd gotten so far. Uh, let's see. Talk to you again. <laughs> hello, my good friends. Uh, let's see. Hello, and how are you? Yeah, I'll run out of ale. Oh, oh, I think I'll stick to it a lot closer to the uh, guide with this. Uh, may I get you another drink? Thank you. Here, take my beer, Stein. <laughs> okay, so that's how we were to get one. And we can go fill that up over here. Yeah, and actually, I actually... Many years ago, I wondered why the, the beer steins had a lid. At least some of them had a lid. Uh, some years ago, I actually learned why they have lids. To make it easier to transport it without spilling stuff? That's true, but there's a different reason than you... That actually would make sen more sense, actually. <laughs> okay. To keep uh, the damn flies out. That works as well. Okay, can we, can we get him drunk enough to pass out? Hey, thanks lots. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this, keeping the fly out is one of the many reasons that added it. <laughs> okay. Apparently to get the maximum amount of points with this guy is to first get him a drink, then talk to him again. And, but uh, really, <laughs> he's, <laughs> okay, apparently he's too drunk to even fight correctly. Okay, if we, okay, if 
if we say if we don't attack we charge up for a bit for a stronger punch okay so that's a good thing to not well spam attack then the heavy stein <laughs> wait hold up maybe that that's how you use the block yeah Where you can see it be dependent from god you go after the punch if you know when the punch from the red meter that may give you the idea when to block maybe but something the guide also says is that the more you defeat, the more guards you defeat, the stronger the rest become. So, yeah, oh, makes still sense. best to uh, still best to avoid as much as possible. Yeah, and also I just realized the damn thing <laughs> roasting in the kitchen is not a damn chicken. Right, what is it then? Hey, go in, go in and look at the size. The, that's a bloody pig. It's a boar. Pig or boar? It's hard to differentiate. It's a boar. Now we know. Can we? No, it's too hot. Okay, it's the biggest boar he's seen. It would take a lot to eat. Okay. I, I would say this um... one. Slow roast the boar over a fire or a campfire, that is, that has been based with honey and beer Ooh. and all that. It's bloody damn tasty. Okay, this will probably stink. Or give the boar a, a beer smell. You, you mean you're based in the boar... Wait, 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 what did you do? We... We, we, em we emptied out the stein of beer onto the hot coals. You're supposed to put uh, it on the board, not the coal! And why is it blue? Okay, now we can pick it up. Yep, we can. <laughs> okay, we just got a whole freaking roast boar. Mine! Okay, pick... No. Mine! That's... <laughs> nom! 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 Let's see. Let's see, go to the closet. When you get approached by the guard outside, use the dialogue table above to select the correct lines. Okay. And he's referring to his map, so I'm unsure what exactly they mean. So dining let me just do a table. save. I guess there's a room with a dining table? No, not with closets, not you know, table. Let's see. Nothing here. Okay. And nothing here. Okay. Let's see. Pizza. Uh, let's see. I'm late. I know. Also, I found something cursed that I posted in your server under the vids thingy. Back to my lurking. Okay. I'm concerned. Hmm. Okay. I'm guessing we need to go this way now, then. Mm -hmm. Okay, once inside the closet, pick up the uniform. <laughs> what? Let's Read see. The chat. <laughs> yeah, why did you sound like an evil character from Mario who just ate another character going nom 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 while eating that character? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably because they leaned back, which affects uh, how they sound. <laughs> Okay. I was you leaning to my side when I did that. They're not. Okay, the thing here is uh, if we can see them, they can see us. Pretty much. Uh, that kind of makes sense. Okay. That dining table? Nope. Okay. Disguise? Let's see. We have a gray uniform. Let's pick that up. Strange, it's locked into the clothes rack. Okay. That would make sense. Hmm. Oh, oh surprising oh. they had. It's an huh? officer's uniform. Yeah, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Right. It's just my size. Okay, but we can take this servant's uniform, though. Okay. 
So we could use that as a disguise, but something the guide here tells that if you meet the same guard twice wearing different disguises, they will identify you as an intruder. Uh, okay. That does make sense. That does make sense, actually. So that's a nice attention to detail. Okay. Uh, let's put down another save then. Might as well just number it the same as the slot it is. Uh, let's see. Use. <laughs> Haley. Indie Wear by Lucasfilm. Okay, now we can use this to sneak around. What are you doing here? Uh, let's see. Uh, said something about certain lines that you can use to get past. Let's see, I'm near you. Where's the kitchen? Shouldn't be wandering. Report to your supervisor. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Just as soon as I finish my errand. Uh, since you're lost, I better accompany you. Okay, that's... <laughs> okay, you, you can take my hand. <laughs> Indy. Okay. Let's avoid combat as much as possible. Since, well... If we are forced into a fight, apparently you can get through this game without a single fight. But still, let's be careful. Okay, at least they won't come running for us. Um, hmm. Okay. Perhaps, perhaps I should have opened up this guide on the computer so I could also actually see, well... <clears throat> also see the uh, the map that they you know, used. Let's see. Who told you that you could wander around here? Okay, you must be a helmet. Uh, let's see. What if we offer you the stein? I don't drink while on duty. Okay, so you're not a helmet. Who told you that you could wander around here? Okay, so that that's an item wasted. Uh, excuse me, I'm on my way to get a broom. Well, your face is unfamiliar to me. Uh, so is it the first day on the job? Who is your supervisor? Brown hair, about average height. They're <laughs> both gray birds and you're an imposter, okay. So that's not how you get past this guy without the fights. Okay. Hmm. Okay. First place. Mm -hmm. It's for the dialogue above for the guards. You have to. Okay. It would be nice if they just put the dialogue options on the actual parts where you'd encounter them and not above all of this here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Here's this. First off, let's put this on again. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, uh, drunk guy. Oh, wait, man. Now this means to, needs the freaking map again. Okay, let me actually just... Let me just actually get that freaking map so I can actually make use of it. Uh, Indiana Jones, Lost Sades, FAQ, okay, there, no, that's again the Game Boy version, why? <laughs> okay, is this the one? No, really, people? No, there's any, it's, okay, why is this showing different, uh, let me see if I put in Africa Adventure. Yeah. FAQ. Is that going to give me the right one? Okay, that's giving me the right one. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yes, I know this messed up with what you were seeing. It's, I can't really put it on. Actually, I can shrink this down. Uh, I understand. 
As long as you're aware. Go. Okay, then need to shrink down the pre view window a bit. If... Okay. There. Oh, clicked it wrong. There, there, always on top. Okay. Let's see then. First floor, map. Okay. Why, why is the map a GIF? Okay. Let's see. Entrance, closet, yep, kitchen. Okay. Let's see. Push back right aside, use the dialog option above, select the correct line. Okay, so each, each of these, uh, okay, he, he marked all of the uh, patrolling guards with a number, and each of those he gave uh, the specific lines that you need to get past them. Okay. <clears throat> nice. Now then, uh, let's stay out of the way. Let me check that map. Okay, it doesn't say that there's anything in that other room, so let's. I don't think we'll need to go there. Okay, closet. Mm -hmm. Pick up the you know, uniform. Okay, da -da -da -da. Like, you see, you walk over to the far side of the room and push the suit of armor by the fireplace. Okay. So, we have reason to just sneak in there for a bit. Okay. Alright, because there's a very, a very famous scene with uh, this stat, you know, with these, this suit of armor, huh? Oops. And that's left a mark. Holy! So, yeah, that thing is real, and it is sharp. Okay, now to get past this guy. Okay. You are marked as number three. Okay, servant 1132. Okay. Okay. I'm supposed to pick up some boots to polish. Where did he leave these boots? On the second floor, their owner is on guard duty. Second floor, where is he stationed? He's on guard, just like you. Well, I suppose that's okay. You may go to him. Okay, and that's how we get past him without a fight. Hopefully we won't be able he won't stop us again if we need to go by again. Okay. Second floor. Okay, new map. There. Open a new tab. Okay. There are, okay, there's quite a bit more to this than I thought. Let's see then. There is nothing here, I believe. Yep. Still something with that. Yeah, that. I'm still a bit confused about that room with the tapestry with the purple wire or whatever. Okay, open this up. Okay. And we may as well put up a quick save here. There. Okay, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. First door on the left. This is... Utterly useless room, but I suggest you save the game if you haven't done so already. Okay, change the suit. Not let you give him the painting without a fight if you're dressed as indie. Okay. Yeah, th th these these old adventure games may seem really simple, but the coding in the background can be really freaking complex. Oh yeah. And they can do that because well, they look like this. A servant here. Wait a moment. You're no servant. Yeah. Well, good thing I saved, huh? Okay. So we don't go that way. Uh, ta -ta -ta. 50 marks. Don't go through the other door. This leads to a guard. He won't be fooled by uniform. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. 
Okay. So we need to go talk to this guy here. And what might you be looking for? Let's see. You are marked as number four. So let's see. Give painting. Uh, okay. Offer an item. Painting. There. Take this painting. What are you doing with that? You know that help isn't supposed to touch anything valuable. Okay, and with that he... Okay, with that he actually fully pisses off. Okay. Okay, indeed. Uh, let's see. Is it... Uh... Oop. Soon afterwards. Oop. Uh, right, now I see the doghouse. Sir, so I just received a new painting to add to the collection. Okay, so that was him here. Good uh, work. Yeah, I, I wrote the combination to the vault on the back of this form. Now rise it now. I've memorized it. And keep it in this drawer if you need it again. Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm sure I won't. I have an excellent memory. Okay, so that's how we know that that is going to be there. Okay. Uh, to walk about outside when you're done and take the first door on Indy's left. Near chests. Uh, wait, one. Uh, oh, wait, that's... Uh, I should scroll this down so I don't read things again. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll take it straight to Vogel's office, another cutscene, and probably disappear off the planet. <laughs> Weird, eh? <laughs> okay. Um, mm -hmm. You can still browse the council's art collection by going left into the room at the end of the corridor. There's just a few in-jokes to be seen there. Okay. Come on, Indy. Okay, this is a collection. Uh, really? I... Pretty sure those were not made at that era. <laughs> this is art. It looks more like someone's drop cloth. <laughs> okay, what have we here? Uh, that's way too modern. It's like a German country house. Okay. It says Dr. Fred and Nurse Edna on wedding day just before leaving for America. That feels like a joke. It's... Yep, the Pfeiffer. Okay, so that's a that's a known painting. And, oh wait, it's Sunday in the Park by George Sirrit. Okay, for for a second I thought it was going to make the George Lucas joke again, but I yeah, think I actually know this painting. The same here. I just don't recognize it in that format. Um, let's see. It's the Castle Brunwald. Oh, that was a castle. Yeah. Oh, those monsters. <laughs> and here is a plaque somewhere. Yeah, there's a plaque. See, see, uh Louvre. Okay. French, very obviously. It's a mountain in the Swiss Alps. Purple mountain. I know this one. It's Seahorse by Mark Ferrari. No hill. What? Read it again. It's, it's up seashore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's this. A paint by number Mona Lisa. Okay. I don't think Leonardo would appreciate this. <laughs> okay. Anything else to look at here? That's a cr box labeled? Uh, the what is says is nothing. Uh, we can take a look at this. See, it looks like a couple of monsters from a cheap science fiction comic. Okay. Oh, so there are some monster pictures, but there, just... It was the next to the one I actually thought it was a monster. And there's just a, a bust with that we can't interact with. Okay. Hmm. 
Wonder if he's yep. related to Buster. <laughs> yes, people, that was a Mythbusters joke. Yeah. Okay. You have to be sorry for him, don't you? Oh, this one? Really? Really? Dogs playing poker. Dad once bought a copy of this at a flea market. Wait, how old is that painting? Actually, there's many versions of those, actually. 14th century Georgian Lucasian, really? I think it's from like the the, the early 1900s, this one. Just... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, though it it might it might be here showing up quote unquote early, but I hmm, I recall it showing up in the Fallout series, and that yeah. basically stopped for guessing anywhere past the fifties. So it's definitely before then. Well, most likely before then. But they did progress a lot past the fifties. Just they kept the uh, they did not progress past the fifties aesthetic. Yeah. Technology wise, hmm. they did get advanced in many areas, but behind in others. Let's see, this looks important. Ah, ah, here again. Okay, okay, so avoid that. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I think my father had one. Okay, different avoid, version, avoid. though. But there has been, as I said, there has been many different versions of that painting. So I don't know which one is the original. Oh, okay. <laughs> there are some explanations for some of the references there. Apparently, one is a screenshot from Loom of all things. Then there is a there's a reference to Maniac Mansion, <laughs> an area that we are going to show up later, and another reference to Maniac Mansion. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, go back to the uh, corridor, follow the one you were in, turn, turns left. There's a room on the left here, marked key on the map, with another chest in it. Open the chest and pull out the uniform that's inside it. Okay. It's far too small for Indy. Okay. Okay, but we can probably use that to uh, get the other one, perhaps. Yeah, uniform. Okay, let's take a look at it to be sure. It's way too small for me. Okay. Hmm. Wait, there's something in the pockets. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's what it's. Yeah, they labeled the key. I'll toss the uniform and keep the key instead. Okay, the uh, key is a lot more useful with that. And I think we. I think I know where uh, we can use that. Yeah, as a brass key. All right. Mm. I think I heard that brass is very strong. But there's yeah. a reason we, did, uh, we don't make armor of it. Yeah, because I think it's... Hmm. It's an alloy, it's... that I'm pretty freaking sure. Okay, he leaves us but alone. That too, but also, it will be extremely heavy. Yeah. Okay, wait for him to move back. At least that's what I've been told from uh, some uh, something I read long ago. That it would be strong, but it would be extremely heavy. Okay, now we can pick up the, the uniform. Okay. It's officer's uniform. And just his size, of course. Okay. But like I said, if we were to put that on and run into this guy, uh, he would figure out, oh yes, <laughs> that's a spy. Or an infiltrator at least, so we are not putting that on just yet. Okay, head back downstairs. Uh, go back upstairs, get changed in the officer's uniform, saving the game as you go. Now free to wander around floor two, okay. So, let's just go in here, use the uniform. <laughs> okay, and now we, can, now we can move around unharassed, for the most part. So, number nine. Okay. 
All right, then. Before you start to wander around proper, go to the room with guard six in it. You need to talk to him to get information that will get and let you talk your way out of a confrontation with Soldier 11, the toughest one on the third floor. Okay. And number six, who is that? Uh, okay, that's up on the northern half. Okay. Yeah, I, I would not have been able to figure even half of this out. <clears throat> If uh, with yeah, without the guide. Okay, that one's locked, so we can't do anything there. Uh, oh, hmm. do you want something? Let's see, two, two, three. Good evening, my friend. How is entry duty today? Boring as usual. Do I know you? Now where's Travis here today? New orders. Orders, may I see them? Certainly, do you have top secret clearance? Uh, I know Sigrid does, he works upstairs, but I suppose you're okay if you're cleared for that. Okay, so we needed a name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, always nice when you could just bluff someone like that, huh? Can we go in here? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Okay, not sure if I wanted to go in here then. A visitor! Life has been getting pretty boring. Uh, let's see. Num okay, they're number eight. Okay, they're the security officer. Okay. And, okay, here's where we need this stupid book. That I wouldn't even use to keep a table stable. Hey, this is my favorite book, and it's the first edition. Would you mind watching the lights while I reread my favorite passage? <laughs> Not at all. And he takes off. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't like yes. him at all already. Let's see. Da -da -da. Extra stuff. You can now do a number of extra uh, things while you're here, though none of them really affects the outcome. You'll get different IQ points depending on what you do. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Disarming the alarm. Remember that Stein of Ale that I told you to get? Well, here's where it comes in handy. Pouring the contents into the grating behind the security console. So... Here... Okay, yeah, that that is going to that is going to mess things up quickly. Yep, full of ale. So we use we use German brewing to ruin German engineering. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's totally that's <laughs> totally freaked that up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, beat that annoying guard. Yeah, you can nom, talk nom, with them. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, another point to consider, four. pretty important, is that it's disabling the effect uh, the alarm will not get you anything unless you plan to make a run for it with Henry when you open his door. The only way you can do this is if you've beaten yourself a clear pathway devoid of guards, the way back to the room with the suit of armor in it. You manage to escape without getting caught. You'll get 25 IQ points, though, so it's not bad. Note to escape the suit of armor room and indeed the castle itself. Push the stone statue on the left side of the fireplace. Yep, we already did that. We know what that is there. Okay. Sneaking into Henry's room. You can climb onto the ledge. Okay. Wait, can we? There's There was another door here. So, hello again. Does this lead us to that door in the middle, then? Yes, it does. Okay, open this up. We can use that to go with that. It's slippery out here. I better change in my action clothes. <laughs> again, just that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Uh, that was the fourth wall cracking. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. 
can climb outside onto the ledge and gain access to the third floor to your dad this way. If you go into the middle of the room with the ledge window, you can open the window and climb outside. Okay, this one is... Get into the shuffle to the far right window. Okay. I don't just know. Why did they build stones like that? Are they supposed to be walked on or just decoration? Uh, definitely not meant to be walked on, I presume, unless for outside cleaning. Uh, so, yeah, no real clue, actually. Um, <laughs> okay, you'll notice a lattice to the right you can't quite reach. Open the window and climb in. Okay. Hopefully there's no one waiting here. Nope. Okay, I, I like that there's different uh, carpets to help differentiate these rooms, because they pretty much all look the same. Just small things like that can really help people orientate. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, look carefully above the window, you see a brick sticking out. Yeah, uh, what? Climb in, or if you look carefully above the window... Okay, I'm not seeing a brick sticking out. Uh, up. Oh, there it... <laughs> I, that, that's more to the sides of the window, but okay. Okay, guess the castle is falling apart. I can't, it's not that loose. Okay. Uh, so, okay, push the brick. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that was a move. Okay. Did that do something out here? Is it that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we can use the whip to get across. Okay. Yep, that's the brick. It's it's contractually obligated to have that play pretty much every time he does that, huh? Yeah, but they do that also in the movies, as realized. You don't see anything special. Now, I look inside, Jones. Okay, I get the feeling that with two of these, as we open them, we go right into a fight. Uh, let's see. First reason you come across is a chest containing 75 marks. Okay. <laughs> If it's robbing the Reich, uh, then we'll do it. Oh, oh <laughs> Junior, you've come to rescue me. Dad, let's get out of here. Fine, son, you lead the way. Okay, but he won't go out, I presume. Or out through the window, I presume. That's a horrible fireplace sound. I've heard worse. Some money in here, 75 marks. Okay. So, I would say, this sound... Had I heard that in another game, I would probably think... Is this so, in my soundboard or something broken? Oh. Okay, th this is interesting. Let's see, the other two windows are where your dad is being kept. It changes per game. Okay, <laughs> apparently we found something that uh, the... <laughs> that the, the guide rider didn't miss, or they changed afterwards. Okay. Uh, to the third, pop in and say hello, as that's pretty much all you can do. Although Henry's door is alarmed, you cannot open it, or any of the other doors in there in these three rooms, without the silver key. Marked in the cave uh, room in, on the third floor. Okay. Henry won't follow you outside. Pretty pointless, really, isn't it? I, I like that this rider has commentary as they go. <laughs> it's not all just cut and dry shit. Yeah, hmm. it, it kind of helps you also to remember it a bit more. Yeah. Okay, just head down, point to the lower level. We'll jump onto the second floor ledge, but be careful that you don't go back in the lower left window because that room contains guard six and won't be very pleased to see you. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, Junior, you don't expect me to leave through the window, do you? 
I'll come back for you. I really like Sean Connery, but he has been rather on downhill uh, these last years. In health and such, you mean? Uh, health and personality. Okay. And he has been doing rather... Mm -hmm. Rough calls or bad calls, like... If I'm trying to remember, right, I think he was supposed to have been Sauron or Gandalf originally, but he turned it down. Yep. Or he thought the movie would fail. Well, he certainly, he certainly failed on that, huh? Yeah, hmm. for, that's the pattern. Many movies he thought he, he would fail turned successful, and many movies he took the pot off, he thought would be successful end up being flops. So yeah, not the best character. <laughs> okay, hey, what are you doing sneaking through that window? You must be the intruder. Okay, not that way then. Okay, actually, I should have seen that one coming since that's the middle room with the guy in it. Okay, uh, let's use the uniform again. Yep, use the gray uniform. Okay. Yeah, apparently there is two ways to escape: a sneaky one and a stealth, uh, and a more stealthy one. Come on, in the hello again, and goodbye again. Okay, uh, let's just try to do as much as we can now. Uh, do I get the feeling we probably should be stopping soon enough, since we are uh, we are nearing four hours? I see nothing here. Yep. Oh, hello. Okay. I've had gotten through a lot, I would say. Yep. Okay, just out of curiosity, I'm going to look where this one leads. Because for a moment I thought we were in the other one where there was a guard on the other side of this. Okay, nothing there. <clears throat> it just goes back to one of the um, win to one of the window rooms. Okay, let's wait for this guy to pass by. According to the map, there's a medical bay here where we can pick up med kits. Uh, don't think we can sneak by on in that time. Okay. Guess those kits is all for healing yourself. Yep. In case let's you have see. ended brawls. Okay. Not sure if we'd keep them, but I'll try to get them. Oh. Okay, so this is Vogel's uh, room. Is the dog still here? The dog is still here. Uh, the uh, dog is not interactable. Okay, I get the feeling if we try to pry, he the dog is going to start barking. Hmm. Let's see, you won't be able to get past Biff, B, who is... Okay, Biff is... Biff is a guard in the middle of her. Okay. Uh, before you need to visit Conan Vogel's uh, office, remember that piece of paper with the combination? You will need to get it in that trophy on top of the filing cabinet. There's a nasty mud blocking the way. Give him the roast boar. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. That's, a, <laughs> that's an adventure game uh, trope as all this time. Yeah, wait, usually it's a bull leg or chicken leg or all that? How you, you give it an entire thing, an entire boar? Yeah, it well, it definitely will keep him busy. Yeah, the entire thing, an entire boar. You know what I mean? Have a boar. Okay, I can't uh, use it on them. Uh... Give? Boar? It can't... Uh, maybe that? Give boar to... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there. <laughs> That'll keep them busy and keep the soldiers hungry. So, double... <laughs> double advantage for us. <laughs> okay. Pick up that. Open that. Have you ever heard a dog? 
and see it's an unsigned travel pass with a combination on the other sides pick it up okay that's probably all we need here nope oh. uh, sorry this is restricted i mean a restricted area let's see you are number nine you need to scroll back up to here. Uh, okay, there, hmm, it only goes up to number eight here. So do these need specific combinations or something? Uh, oh, wait, it's up, It's written up here at the top with the floor. Uh, let's see, one, two, one. Okay, soldier, your pants are wrinkled. Sorry, sir, there was no time to iron. And no time to remove the stain on your jacket. Well, you know how the cook based everything with his silly uh, surprise sauce. Sauce, you buffoon, you waste my time. Stand aside. <laughs> okay, yes, sir, whatever you say. Okay, so that's how we get past him. <laughs> okay, with, with some... Uh, really? Ugh. There's not much to look at. I think we fully agree there, Indy. Yeah, with some soldier types, you need to uh, you you can play it more say you can play it more kinder. To, but with others, you need to basically bash them over the head if you're trying to sneak past them. Okay. Uh, grab the trophy. Uh, and the pass. Okay. As your combination, head back down to the art collection. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, another trope. There's a safe hidden behind one of the paintings. And what better place to hide that than in a place filled with paintings? <laughs> okay, that's an actually clever one. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's get pi pi past this one. Uh, let's see, you are, let's see, number seven. Okay, two, one, two, one. Greetings, my friend, I was sentry duty today. Boring, as you should know. I can't quite place your face. What, you don't remember me? No, who do you think you are anyway? Let's see. So, is that any way to speak to a superior officer? I'm sorry, sir, but I was not told to expect anyone today. I must ask you for proof. Let's see. Your commander knows me. Please call him right away. You don't know his name? Uh, wait, what? Okay, that, that can't be... Uh, <laughs> I've got to hand it to you. Okay, that was odds. Yeah. Uh, okay, don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can beat this guy really. Let's, let's try uh -huh. still. At least we're close to the medical bay. Just about one more hit and it would have been done. Okay. Ooh. That's strange. That means that the guide is wrong on that as well. That or it was the wrong character. Hmm. Let's see. Two one two one as the officer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, at least we could use that. That was a bit of a waste then, but oh well. At least they're out of the way. <clears throat> Okay, back over to the art gallery. Okay. Yeah, I I'm enjoying the game at the moment, but uh, without a guide, uh, we would have still been stuck in Venice, I'd say. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Big ass painting, big ass safe. <laughs> okay, where's that combination? 
Let's see. Look. Combination on the other side. Okay. Use pass. Uh, use pass on. Okay. Look. And okay. that's what I did. And look pass. Unsigned travel pass with a combination on the other side. Okay. Why is. Back down here then. Uh, let's see. Head back to the art collection, pull the painting, or it was push. Okay, this guy is made. Okay, either he's making mistakes or the things have been changed since the you know, since the GOG release or in the GOG release. Uh, okay, open the vault and earn yourself ten IQ points by walking inside and looking at the painting. Okay, I'm guessing we just do. Uh, there we go. Okay, sometimes <laughs> sometimes these old games do that. Oh, hello. Uh, that's two. It looks like a painting of the Grail. I look on the floor. That's the painting I did of my father's trophy. Can we pick that back up? I don't need it, really. <laughs> okay, so that's how the the that's how the Grail is supposed to look. So again, I'll just take a quick photo just to be absolutely sure that I don't forget. Yeah, but we know what happens if you take the wrong one in the movie. Yep. There we go. Okay. That's another point. Another, another 10 points. Typically when I, an old adventure game like this gives you uh, points, it would give like a, a notification uh, thing or something. Like, ting... Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Remember the inscriptions you found inside the cave under the catacombs, the ones that said you, know, you should write. Uh, I should. You should write down. Well, if you flick through the well, uh, there you come. Uh, that came with the game and find the two descriptions of the game mentioned. You'll discover one account claims the grail glows, while the other says it doesn't. If you weren't sure which one was correct until now, uh, that is. Uh, until now, that is. If the grail in the painting is glowing, then you know which account is true. Even if the account reckons it looks like a bowl, and the one in the painting clearly looks like a cup, and vice versa. You should now have all the information you need to pick the true holy grail from a bunch of... Uh, a big bunch of carefully constructed phonies. Hmm. I, from the... From the, uh, hmm. from the movie, I remember it was a carpenter's cup. Yeah, it was made of wood. Very simple. So, let's see. One says it glows, the other says it doesn't. This one says that it glows, so I'm guessing in the game it does glow. Hmm. Yeah, though we're not supposed to be randomized. I doubt, I doubt it would... I, I presume there would be some change, perhaps? But uh, it would also change the... Uh... Hmm? What the, somebody showed the halt. Oh, greetings, sir. I must inform you this is a top secret zone. Okay, I, that's the guide also said this. Like, if uh, <clears throat> if you fight too many, then the others will go on high alerts or something. Uh, let's see. Who are you then? Number eleven. Uh, let's see. Three through two three. An official business. May I pass? There's an intruder about. I'll have to search you. Okay. Okay, that's a fail. Was he maybe the one? We should use the uh, uh, other one. And I think this guy probably spawned because we got into a fight with the previous one. Okay, that's, this is going to fail. Yeah, even if we block, we still take some damage. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Where was the last? The last was here. Okay. That does mean we oh. should be able to uh, get out without uh, getting into another fight. Okay, gray uniform. At least we now we have the info that we need. So there's no need to go do that again. Okay. 
This gets us there. Okay, just need to redo some stuff. And after that, I think we... Get... Damn it. Um... Uh, I, d I don't want to start guessing which are correct and which not, so let's just reload. Especially since it's now been proven that the guide isn't 100% accurate. So, apparently if you press I, you can see how many... <clears throat> How many IQ points you've collected so far? Okay. Uh, use gray uniform. There we go again. Okay, head out. And this time we make sure to dodge him. Okay. Just wait for him to pass by here. Then we go up the stairs, give the dog the boar, uh, get the combination and the pass and the trophy. Okay. Oop. Yeah, this one we needed to bark down, I believe. Yes. Soldier pants are wrinkled. No time to iron. Thing. Yeah, someone, must, some people must have gone through this a hell of a lot of times to figure out which one uh, of these <laughs> actually gets you where you need to go. Okay, and that gets rid of them. So over here, yeah, one minor complaint I would put up is that the the music is a bit sparing with this, like. It, at least there could be some background music playing in most of these areas, but oh well. Might be a limitation due to how much complexity yeah. they did to the game to begin with. Let's see. Roast boar, give to dog. There we go. Sounds more demonic. <laughs> I would not be surprised if they named the dog Cerberus. Probably. Okay, pick up the trophy. Open this. And we take the pass. There's no actual need to go back to the art gallery now, but I think the pass is needed for something else. Uh, I will okay. probably say we still need to do that. Uh... Yeah, it, with these old games, if things change, if things were randomized, they were typically randomized at the start. Nothing here. I'm all, okay. I mean, uh, you, you probably won't need to see it in case mm. of uh, if there's something like that. Okay, we can't. Yeah, we can't check again just in case. Uh, let's see. Next stop, the kitchen. I'm entering the appropriate clothes before walking past the guards on the first floor. Oh, fill up the trophy with ale. Okay. Okay, we avoid fights where we can. Okay, yeah, this def... <laughs> Definitely from an old age of gaming, with how much we need to go back and forth as well. Yep. <clears throat> That's why I think we should still look at the painting for... Just in case it decides to screw with us. Yeah, okay. or worse. Uh, wait. Like, uh, a, the... like a lock, be getting locked out of the ending or something. All right, the kitchen is all the way on the other one. Okay. So we need to quickly change clothes. Because otherwise that guy downstairs will stop us. Okay. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Uh, if the kitchen was this way. I believe. Yep. Okay. Then over here. 
Okay, another thing with uh, these adventure games is that you could also screw yourself over in many ways. Uh, let's see, we there's the trophy, use that with the spigots. Yeah, we could turn the spigot open and let the thing drain itself out completely, which would require a restart of the entire chapter. Okay, I like that it actually took longer because it's, it's a lot larger to fill. Oh dear. <laughs> There's details like that. This really make the difference between great adventure games and yeah, other adventure games. Yeah. Oh god, I'm so worried now. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> time to find the paintings. Getting cold, so give me a second. Okay, over. okay, parents are heading out for the bi-weekly dinner at the aunt and uncles. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll have to stop soon enough as well. Okay, head in here. Yeah, we don't have any run option. So double clicking does nothing. I don't okay. think many Pony Clee games had run options. Use the combination. Okay. Glowing cup. Okay. Yeah, that should mean that the actual grail that we'll need to find is glowing. Okay, and the way that the guide works, it, it does make it sound like that is something that can change between games. Just how uh, Henry is uh, Henry Jones is supposed to be in different rooms each game as well. Oh, also, uh, we need to change back into the other uniform. Let's see. Now that's there there okay now then hmm. okay kitchen clothes yeah fill it then all the way back to the third one okay and to uh the big german don't forget uh, don't forget to save yeah we can do that in Vogel's uh, office. <laughs> yeah, Vogel sounds like such uh, like a rather intimidating uh, you know, lost name and such, but it, it's just birds. Yeah. <laughs> there. Okay. Now we walk over to this big guy here. <clears throat> no one is allowed near the prisoner. Colonel's orders. Okay. Offer item. Trophy. Take this trophy. Ah. <laughs> he just downs it. And downs it. <laughs> downs it. <laughs> How much did we put in that? I think we might have well just pulled the... Is, is he just... He's literally getting a beer gut as we speak. I think. And that was just his shirt. Concerned. And, I am so concerned. <laughs> um, that was... Okay. Good, but I'll still... Dick. Have to teach you. Dick. <laughs> Not to come up here. <laughs> uh, nothing on him, not even his dignity. <laughs> okay, just hand him the trophy, punch him easy. Okay, head to guard 11 and the key to Henry's room, key on the map. Okay, that's all the way at the back there. Oop, halt. Okay. Uh, wait, you must be... Wait, didn't you come up earlier? Um, okay. 
You should have saved earlier. Oh, wait, you did save. Yeah, I did. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, just... Okay, so that's annoying. Okay, hopefully that's the last we'll have to fight here. 25 marks. Okay. Well, that should at least open the path over here to the key. Let's see anything interesting along the way? Just blank rooms, according to the map. Okay. Uh, re really? Just hang it on the <laughs> on the candlestick. Okay. Well, I'll take advantage of their stupidity. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, how is the stealthy way to get out? Because I don't think I can fight the other ones. Uh, let's see. Is your both fifth and better talking to us? And over. First to the left. No, this isn't the room with your father in it. It's got it says which 75 marks. Okay. After that, try the other two doors. It changes easy game, which it is. You always see wiring going into the top of the door. Okay. Okay, not that one. Not that one. Okay. Hmm, so yeah, it is this one. Okay. Uh, when you get close and unlock it, the door alarm will ring and you'll get caught unless you disable the alarm before, in which case you'll get five IQ points and a chance to nip inside if you're dead and make a run for it. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, how is the sneaky way out then? We, or, didn't okay. we put the stuff into the security already? I, I hope we did that. On this mm. save. We'll find out. Okay, it's about time you returned. Okay. Close that and lock it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Um... Nope, nope, hello. Just as I look away. Going somewhere? Ah, Dr. Jones, a vogel. Yes? <laughs> you have an item I want. I'm sure I can persuade you to part with it. Well, so much for that. Uh, you couldn't persuade a fish to swim, you arrogant dolt. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the... Okay, so even with the alarm, that's, that, that's supposed to happen, I guess. But with the alarm off. Um, okay. Uh, it seems like we have to give it over. Or let's see, anything else here? Um, <laughs> okay. Ah. There we have, we did have uh, something else. Let's see. I believe this is what you're looking for. Ah, the grill diary. Yeah, diary. Diary. Bleh. I'm glad you decided to cooperate. Okay. And that was the that was the other book that was meant to look like it. Let's see. I don't know. I was thinking of something. Okay. Uh, and we have about eight minutes left, probably less. Okay, can't do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
that we need to we need to inch our way over to this stupid thing. Ooh. Was it that how they did in the movie or it different here? Uh, they were tied up like this in the movie as well. Oh yeah, that they were, yes. The question is how did they get out of it in the movie? That's my question. Well, I think you might have a guess due to something we did earlier. Yeah, in the game, yes. But I mean, did they do the same in the movie? Yep. I almost forgot that, that part. And yeah, it is very easy to get this wrong, of course. So that is why uh, the line in the on the ground helps. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's good, for they probably expected people who uh, struggle with it and thought, all right, let's give them this as a method to make it easier for themselves. And to make it easier on myself here, just in case. There we go. Yeah, if, if we had been a bit back or forth, that would have ended differently. <laughs> do you, do you, you always got things this close? But shut up, Gramps. Okay. Uh, uh. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Now, if we didn't have the old book, we have to travel lights. Uh, just going to. Yep, I left all the <laughs> that baggage behind. Okay, so all we have is. Okay, we left some stuff behind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> This isn't the chart. Okay. Best to save here because one false move and it's bye bye indie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Save. Okay. Okay. If we had given up, uh, if we had given him the Grail Diary, there would have been an extra bit of game here to get it back. But since we gave him a fake, well, <laughs> none of that. So let's save. Okay, want to call it there or do a little bit more? Yeah, I think probably I should be going. Yeah, it's probably good for us to call it there. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go look for someone to raid then. So remove the always on top here. Yeah, I also figured that that also takes a little bit of time. Yeah, uh, let's see. Twitch TV. Okay, I can make this big again luckily it was already muted uh, let's see we have Dr. Mason the studio who is playing Persona 5 Royal I'll avoid that because I want to play that with any kind of spoilers uh, Sensei Tadful is playing Duolingo okay Jackson Sim is playing Brink wait is that what I think it is Tempest the Moonsill is playing Elden Ring and okay this is not what I thought it was uh, Hisiris here is playing Signalis I'm a Flanker is playing Supermarket Simulator. Barfly Raccoon is playing Power Wars Simulator, which is probably a much better simulator game. And last two, we have WBP, uh, uh, yeah, WBPL playing Golden Sun. And K9 is dra playing Dragon's Dogma 2. Any of those have a preference for you, or should I take a pick? Uh, let you take a pick. Uh, let's go say hi to the Raccoon then, as lightning keeps striking for us. Okay, there, there, okay, slash raid and paste, but before we start up, of course, thank you everyone who's been watching, yeah, thank you everyone who's been watching now or later, thank you Pizza, thank you Sensai, and uh, let's see, thank you any lurkers, uh, none with names at least, uh, that was Sensai is lurking, but uh, yeah, they were also talking, yeah, and yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for watching. Yeah. We'll probably finish this next week, because these adventure games, when you know what you're doing, they tend to not be that long. And yeah, then we'll move on to Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. <laughs> okay, but for now, of course, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, sleep well, and watch out for undead seagulls. And uh, just buff, <laughs> buff shirtless Nazis. <laughs> <laughs>
Always watch out for those.